Hello and welcome all signs. So this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at well, what the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you. We're going to be reading with Lenormand and then to clarify with the Tarot. And today I thought that we'll, well, we will take an Oracle card as well, just to mix it up a little bit. Um, one of these. We're going to take one of those in the beginning of the reading and go from there yeah and i will pre-shuffle this as well so i don't have to shuffle three kinds of decks yeah and next week as well i have been working with well two different kind of readings that i wanted to try out um yes yeah, so, so, uh, sometime next week i'm going to try a new reading here um yeah so make sure I'm, uh, uh, to follow and subscribe so you don't uh, so you don't miss that i'm not sure what day this is going to come out but yeah i'm going to try to do things a little bit differently here what else No, that was about it. So let's uh, begin. Ariel, so it is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you. Let's see. <clears throat> Current feelings towards you, Aries. Go. <clears throat> Let's see, we will grab one of these as well, Aries. <clears throat> I like you. Aries. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Want to date. Let's see. they <clears throat> yes they do like you indeed aries but it is uh taking the first steps towards you or towards this that is uh challenging for them i will see we'll clarify a little bit more yeah i guess it's almost like the the initiation of it all that is where it takes uh, a stop here Aries of taking the this that I, I like you uh, further it can be that you feel that they do like you but they don't uh, evolve it to something else Three of Swords. A fear of getting hurt. Yeah, it's almost like they do get into their mind a little bit too much. They're all the what if. What if this doesn't work out? What if they turn me down? Um... yeah it can't even be Aries that you have given this person some indication like now is the time or, or do it now like uh, helping them a little bit along the way but even with that they still get into their mind here Aries so it's almost this uh, situation where well if you do want this with this person there where you need to take the the first steps aries towards them 
because they are not right now at least they're not going to do it despite uh, what it is that they're feeling here because this person they they do like you and they do want something more so it's just not a a one-time thing here it's like they, they do want things to evolve to well to something more Yeah, but as I said, I don't see them taking the first steps uh, anytime soon, Aris. It is too much blockage, too much uh, well, fear as well. With the with the tower here and the three of swords, ten of wands, right here in the center as well. Yeah, things hasn't always gone their way. Um, yeah, but they do like you. Irish. Right here. So you do have somebody that is uh, watching you and wanting you. <clears throat> but it's a little bit too afraid to do anything about it at this moment. because yeah, it is the queen of wands here as well and they don't usually just sit around and do nothing eventually this person will uh, well try to, to take it to the to the next step here yeah, so aries that's what I had for you thank you and uh bye Taurus, so it is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you. At this moment in time, let's see. Current feelings towards you. Taurus. There we go. I'm gonna take one of these as well. The butterfly. Taurus. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. Let's see. Uh, communication is key here, Taurus. Because yes, it is indeed evolving to more uh, peaceful times or more, uh, well, coming a little bit more comfortable with one another. But it's still a little bit rocky here. <clears throat> Uncertainties, question marks over this connection, over, well, over the two of you. Uh, it's this feeling that you both are feeling it. Not really sure where you have one another. And that is why this uh, well, communication um, needed to communicate a lot. But it is heading towards the right direction here. It is indeed well, evolving. It's like this person, they do want one thing, but it's, um, as I said, question mark and uncertainties where, where they feel that they don't have it or that, that you're not there yet. Because they do want, this is what they, 
what they want here, Taurus. The anchor and the hierophant. <coughs> So there's this, uh, well, this stability, this, this connection, this, this oneness. But this is their overall feeling here. Taurus. <clears throat> feeling like they are heading towards another direction. They do want, well, this oneness with you, this relationship with you. But right now it feels more like they are, well, single. in a way oh, so not quite there yet still a lot of things to talk about <clears throat> It's almost like just because they don't feel like they're going in their speed that they are wanting to like this and that they do want this to evolve they feel more like it is ending so it is the speed of it all that this person is having a uh, uh, like they do want everything and they don't they want it now but it's taking a little bit longer can be you Taurus that needing to well feel comfortable or just need to be on the same page it's taking a little bit longer and that's why this person is ah this is uh, Taurus is taking too long um, yeah it's almost like they are checking out in uh, beforehand like feeling like this is going in, in one direction here Taurus when in reality it's not it's just uh, taking a little bit longer and this person is wanting things to go in. Yeah, it's like they do need a lot of reassurance, Taurus. Yeah, and that's why if you do want this, Taurus, then. Uh, well, then communication is key, like they, they need to feel you or know what is, what is going on with you. Yeah. So, Taurus, that's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Gemini, so this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at well, what the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you. At this moment in time, let's see. Current feeling towards you, Gemini. I'll take one of these as well. The Chase Server. Gemini. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. A little bit this feeling uh gemini of having one foot in and one foot out it's almost like uh, as soon as you call or, or um yeah as soon as you call it's like they will be there because they don't want to miss out an opportunity to be with you because i do see that it is there is there is moments small moments 
when they do feel this happiness and when they do feel like they well when they are around you that is almost all that they are getting from you Gemini it's just a uh, small moment um, <clears throat> Yeah, right now I don't see them complaining about anything, really, Gemini. Um, it is this feeling of just wanting to be around you as much as they can. Even though if it is a small moment, um, or every now and then, they do live off that, that interaction, that moment. Like they're carrying it with, you, with them. Gemini. Yeah, but I do see them. It's almost like they, well, they have fallen for you. Yeah, but I, they're just taking what they can. Yeah, going around when they are not with you, they are still feeling you and thinking about you, and it just feels good for them. But still, it is. It is at the same time a little bit this uh, one foot in, one foot out. It's like they know, Nim and I, that this is not going to end well. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to do, um, well, I'm just going to enjoy like the, the, the most that I can get. I'm just going to enjoy. But it's almost like they have already prepared for the worst here. Like, well, <clears throat> like this is not, they won't be able to get all of you. It's like they do have already that understanding here. That this love that they are that this love that they are chasing here or wanting is not something that they well that they might get from you i know it's like they do know that this is going to end like they are prepared for it to to end just like that Yeah, so trying to just make the most of it. Because this person is not going to end it. It's going to have to be you if it if it is going to end. Uh, I guess they know what it is that they're wanting here. But they also prepare for the... Well, for things to not go their way. No. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's almost like they are just creating memories something that they will be carrying with them for a very long time but they are hoping for something more gemini of course that they are hoping um yeah that's why for you thank you and uh bye cancer so this is going to be your reading we're going to take a look at what the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you at this moment in time let's see current feelings towards you cancer see <clears throat> girl talk cancer 
Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Well, this doesn't add up because here we do have somebody that has indeed fallen for you cancer is falling um yeah starting to feel this more and more this feeling of um, not being able to stay away let's see Somebody is interested indeed here in you. Yeah, the full Knight of Cups, a magician, Eight of Wands. This is going fast. Cancer. Your feelings towards you is evolving fast. And they are just going with it. This is something that they have been wanting for quite some time as well, or manifesting. Um, so this person, they are ready for something, uh, for something. Answer? For something new. And here they are, have lay, laid their eyes on you. Very interested indeed. I do see that they have made some 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 steps or some attempts to get your attention here, Cancer. But <clears throat> now, what is throwing me off a little bit is the the speed of it all. It's almost like a little bit of uh, well, of love at first sight here, cancer. Yeah, so that kind of feeling. If somebody's sitting at uh, sitting at home, picturing the person they want to be with, and then just well, there you are walking by, and just get hit by Cupid's arrow. Yeah, but this is not the last that you have heard from this person. They are needing or wanting to find out more about you. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Cancer. They did indeed fall. for you this person and it is fast as well this might be something that you will be noticing or have noticed they are very fast but it's almost like they don't want to miss an opportunity here i see something uh, too good to pass up. Yeah. And with the heart right here in the center as well. Yeah. So, Cancer, that's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Leo, so this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you. At this moment in time, let's see, current feelings towards you, Leo. There we go. Let's see. 
take one of these. Boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure. Issues. Let's see. And uh, boat again. Leo. Oh. Does indeed feel more like a uh, closure, Leo. A sense of being at peace now, how things uh, ended between you, and now being able to, well, this person will be able to move on. Now we will see. I, mean, I will. <clears throat> Just this feeling, Leo, that somebody has indeed been stuck on you for a little bit too long. Um, but now it's almost like they did get their answer, uh, their questions answered here. They've gained some some clarity. Yeah, but it's it's now accepting more that this is not going to uh well that you or them is not going to come back together here can be you indeed leo that you have uh, moved on with somebody new and this person like okay now now i got my answer uh now i can now i can start letting go as well with a with a good conscious <clears throat> so to speak leo Yeah, but somebody has indeed been um, after you or holding on to this, to the idea of the two of you for a little bit far too long because we have the Four of Pentacles and the tem uh, Temperance here as well and the Lilies. So it's been a, 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 well, a while, Leo. But now, now they are accepting the fact uh, okay, now it's time to now it's time to move on from this or start to let it go of this of Leo. Yeah. So Leo, that's what I had for you. This can't even be a, some sort of conversation that you had, the two of you. But they are going to try to move on now. Yeah. Leo, that's what I have for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Virgo, so this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at uh, what the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you at this moment in time let's see current feelings towards you where I go Kisses. There we go. Unconditionally loving. 
giving and receiving, affection, falling in love. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Because they are feeling this Virgo, they do want you, they are coming towards you here, but it's almost like the more they come towards you, the more they feel like they are not enough, like they are starting to doubt themselves. I guess this is getting a little bit too... We will see. I will clarify. Yeah, there is more uh, a worry here, Virgo. It's almost like you you will see their their true self and not liking what you are seeing uh, or feeling that you are. Because right now it's almost like they do they they do feel like you are above them. Yes, they are still falling here. They are still coming towards you. They do want this. They do want you, but it's almost like the more. Uh, the more well, time you spend together the more they feel like you're not going to feel that you don't feel the same or not going to feel the same way that they are feeling towards you yeah A sense of this feeling um, like it's a it's a dangerous path that this person is entering that kind of feeling like this is this is yeah like it's not going they, they feel like this is not going to end well for for them because you're going to see right through them or, or um yeah just not liking what you see virgo but at the same time it, it can't stay away they're just waiting for that moment for you to turn the other way Virgo. <clears throat> yeah. It's almost like with certainty that this person know that you don't um that you don't feel the same way as they are. Because they have well, here with the with the kisses as well and, and and falling in love. This person has kind of just said them already that they have been well, fallen for you. But everything else screams that you. Um, everything else is telling them that well, this is not going to end well, or Virgo is is not going to feel the same way. Yes, maybe in the beginning where the. Uh, honeymoon phase but that shall pass and you're going to see right through them no 
so they are in a way Virgo they're just waiting for you to to end it to walk away yeah. but at the same time they are they can't stay away as I said they do want this they do want you they have fallen yeah so Virgo that's what I have for you thank you and uh, bye Libra so this is going to be your reading we're going to take a look at what the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you let's see that's this moment in time current feelings towards you Libra let's see let's take one of these <clears throat> The snake Libra Competition enemy clever malicious looking look over your shoulder the other woman or the other person Let's see It's just, uh, I'm going to clarify this right away, Libra. Because <coughs> I don't see the, I don't see the snake coming in here. Not in the current feelings. We will see. Let's take a look here. There's somebody, Libra, that because of they don't know all the facts, they are creating their own kind of illusion or um, our own kind of stories here. But I do see it being all in their mind. Like this has not. Oh, I have not got it confirmed that this is actually happening. It's something that they believe. They believe that, but their belief or well, if you take a look at this, Libra, I do have the Seven of Cups and uh, well, the stars. They are they are making up all kinds of um, scenarios in their mind. And when they do find, because this is right now, can reduce it and be like, uh, maybe it's this way or maybe it is that way. Maybe Libra is doing, off doing, well, gods know what. But when they do find one string or one idea, Libra, that fits pretty well, well, then they are going to stick with it. Like, yes, this, this has to be it. This has to be the way. Um, this is why. But as I said, in reality, well, they are in the, they are in the dark here, Libra. Like they don't know really what's going on with you or what it is that you're doing here. 
and this is just somebody um, right now trying to solve this Yeah. So it might get a little bit <clears throat> defensive, a little bit aggressive as well towards you, Libra, just out of the blue. For you, it would be out of the blue. Like, where is where is all of this coming from? That kind of feeling, Libra. Yeah. They might be coming in a little bit too hot here because they think they have solved uh, well, the issue or the problem. And yes, for some, they might be right. They might solve it, Libra. Or this is just something that they have indeed created in their own mind. As I said, they are in the dark on what's going on, and well, so am I, because I'm watching. I'm watching them. But this this does talk about trust, Libra. And right now, it's almost like they are looking for a reason to not to trust you or to not to believe your words. Um, yeah, kind of do see them trying to fit the pieces together, and the one that makes somewhat sense, they're going to okay. This must be it. This is why. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, let's see. Enemy, clever, malicious look. Look over your shoulder. Yeah, door. Yeah. So, Libra. They don't really trust you. They feel like something is up with you. They're trying to find out what it is. And when they do find that something that, well, this, this makes sense. They're going to well come with them as some sort of uh, attack or ac accusation. They're just trying to figure it out right now. <clears throat> yeah. So Libra, that's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Scorpio. So it is going to be your reading. We're gonna take a look at. But the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you. At this. Moment in time, let's see. Current feelings. Towards you. Scorpio. See, let's take one of these. <clears throat> Heart with a key. Scorpio. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. Hmm. Let's see. I'll do to get the because it is uh I wonder if this is indeed a brand new person, Scorpio, somebody that you haven't met 
yet. I haven't entered your well your surroundings. You see, it's almost like they don't see you right now with the clouds right here. But it is coming. Oh, sorry. Um, come on, light. Well, there you go. Uh, we do have the clouds right here, Scorpio. So it's almost like they don't see you right now. They are in the in the dark, but clouds are heading. Um, yeah, you will step into the light, or the clouds will pass. Scorpio. Because right now I kind of do see that this person is not doing so good, Scorpio. They are in 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 pain. It, it is getting better day by day. Uh, but they have been through something something rough. Or it's just somebody that has been uh, that has been alone for far too long. We will see. And with the heart with the key as well, welcoming love, meeting the one, getting together, perfect. Yeah. We will see. Yeah, with the uh, with the clouds and the moon here, uh, Scorpio, you kind of do feel like this is somebody that you haven't met yet, because you are in the well, you are in the in the shadows or in the in the unknown for them at this moment. It's the their overall, so they haven't met you yet. You haven't met one another yet. <coughs> Scorpio. Yeah. But they are getting through the day. They are overcoming this hardship right now. Healing. There's a lot of healing here as well. It's almost this feeling, Scorpio, that when this person, because right now they are um, doing the work, they are um, starting to feel better day by day, um, with the six of wands here as well and the and the stars. Um, it's almost like as as soon as they are have, when they are done with this, then you will you will enter here. Scorpio. And it will be well as this as this card says right here it will be perfect getting together perfect ah, Scorpio I do wonder I almost want to do another one for you, Scorpio. Because this is not... Well, for some of you, this is... We're gonna... No, we can't do that. I need... Oh, it's going to take time. Next time, Scorpio. Next time I will do. Yeah. Come back next time and maybe it will be different than this felt a little bit specific. It wasn't the question you were asking, but what showed up. Yeah, so Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Thank you and uh, bye. 
Sagittarius. So this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you. At this. moment in time let's see current feelings towards you Sagittarius I'll take one of these cassette Sagittarius outdated thinking Conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Uh, replaying events over in your head, yeah. Um, let's see. There is a very stable energy here, Sagittarius, between you and somebody else. It's a very strong connection that you do have. Uh, it is this feeling like, yes, they might have done uh, some sort of mistake along the way, but now it's coming back together to, well, to repair this or to fix this. Um, yeah, a little... Uh, a little mistake here in the A because we do have the ring upside down. A little bit of hesitations. We will see. Sagittarius. Yeah, the moon, the hangman, seven of swords. Uh, it is this feeling of the more they think about it, Sagittarius, the more they're starting to realize like, oh, maybe I was indeed in the wrong here. Um, yeah, but it's a very strong connection. Sagittarius, that you and this person uh, have. Yes, they do believe that this is uh, well that this is not broken yes that might be a little bit damaged but it's not broken like this is something that they can indeed come back from and which they are going to do as well like they are going to um, try to fix this because as I said before it's like the more they think about it the more they realize that, oh maybe maybe Sagittarius was uh, right indeed uh, we'll try to do better yeah Almost like um, it can be as well, Sagittarius, that this person did nothing wrong. It's just that a little bit of a, a wake up call for them. Like feeling a little bit of a, a, a t taste here. Like, well, taking you or taking this for granted with the ring. Going into a little bit of a, uh, not a, yeah, almost like a rot or, or, or zombie mode, like, yeah. yeah, just taking you, just taking you for granted. And this did give them a wake up call indeed, and starting to see it more from your point of view. And the more they do so, the more they understand. Yeah. So this person, they are coming around, Sagittarius. They do see what you are talking about or understand you. Uh, what it is that you're feeling here. I feel like, yeah, I, I maybe have been um, sleeping for a while here. It's like it's time to take action, some control.
Yeah. But they're going to try to do better here. Sagittarius. And this is almost just what they just what they needed. A little bit of a wake up call. So, Sagittarius. That's what I have for you. Thank you and uh bye. Capricorn, so this is going to be your reading. I'm going to take a look at what the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you. At this. Moment in time, let's see. Current feelings. Towards you. Capricorn. There we go. Let's see. Let's take one of these. Photograph Capricorn. Looking at your photos, photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. Let's see. Why are they getting upset though? Capricorn. We will see. There's almost this feeling that some sort of uh, memory or, or something that triggered a, a memory in them which caused them a little bit of, um, well, almost anger within them, Capricorn. We will see. What is this all about? So yes, they are thinking about you, but almost comes with a little bit of, uh, well, upset, uh, anger. Um. something here Capricorn that came to to light for them which caused them while well, feeling upset and it is that kind of feeling Capricorn a feeling of um, well maybe this person tried to make you do something um, or travel well, whatever it is like this person tried to make you do something here for quite some time and now when things are over they well, look at their phone or, or get a picture where you are doing this thing and it's it's it it angers them like why are you doing this thing with this person when i try to do it with you for well Because it is, um, yeah, as I said, there is anger and jealousy here, but it is something that came to light recently as well. And this feeling of this person uh, has tried to, well, not, yeah, it's like try to convince you to do, to do this with them. And now you're out doing it with, well, somebody else or alone. Yeah, and this is the the jealousy or anger that is taking over here. Because I do see them putting down the, the work or trying to, well, as I said, convince you to do something with them. <clears throat>
And this is a little bit of an, uh, not an overreaction, but it is this kind of feeling like this is the last thing that they needed to hear or see uh, at this moment. Looks like they are all are already going through something that they're trying to deal with. And now they saw this on, or heard this about you. And it's just upset them, uh, Capricorn. Yes, I do feel it is a, well, a past person here. Um, yeah. But you do have somebody here disapproving something that you are doing. So, Capricorn. Yes, I don't see them reaching out either. Uh, it was more, yeah, they're just feeling, as I said, upset or, or jealous uh, uh, about this this news coming to light yeah, but something came indeed to light here um, something that they have tried to work with you to do yeah. so Capricorn that's what I have for you thank you and uh, bye Aquarius, so oh, this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you. At this, this moment in time, let's see. Current feeling towards you, Aquarius. Yes, see. No. <clears throat> Axe. Aquarius. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Yeah, the tower, I do see a, a, a separation here. But get the hopes of reconciliation. This is a past person wanting to come back, Aquarius. See. Yeah, for me this is uh, somebody that is trying to get this back together or for to get back together with you Aquarius can I do see that the, the ball is already in, in motion here they still have feelings for you It is this kind of feeling of they don't believe that this is over, uh, not really, because um, it doesn't it doesn't feel right that this is not supposed to happen. This is not how it's going to. This is not how it's going to end, Aquarius. And they do still have feelings for you here.
yeah and a lot of um, belief here that this is something that you can indeed work through Aquarius yeah this feeling of knowing that this is not going to be easy but uh, if anyone can work through it it's going to be the two of you and this is because uh, they are so certain as well Aquarius this person is very certain that this is well that they do want you and at the same time that like, this is not how it is that it's this is not how it is supposed to end and that's why they are going to fight here for this for you for what it is that they do believe in yeah so it's not somebody that's going to back off the first time around aquarius not even the second because they believe so much in in this in you in well in the two of you Aquarius, yeah. So I do see them trying to get um, a reconciliation here, or trying to fix this. They do want to fix this. Aquarius. Yeah. So, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. Thank you, and uh, bye. Pisces, so this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what, what the person that you're currently thinking about is feeling towards you. At this moment in time, let's see. Current feelings towards you. Pisces. these healing heart Pising. Pisces healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction They are indeed healing here, Pisces, or trying to become uh, better and more stable. But at the same time, I don't see them being able to, uh, well, to stay away from you or to check in on you, Pisces. We will see. Can even be the reason that you are somebody that is helping them through something rough, Pisces. Because they are, they are watching you a little bit too closely here. Let's see. In what way? somebody that is indeed unbalanced with their thoughts when, and, and feelings here Pisces those two are not coming together for this person it is a little bit this feeling of um, it's like they know what the best thing for them to do is but their feelings is still pulling them towards you so yeah i do see them not being able to not check in on you or, or well, 
spy a little bit on you, Pisces. Yeah, not able to close that door, not yet. So they are, in a way, this person is stuck, Pisces, in a loop. Like you are their weakness. Yeah, it's like trying to move on, trying to heal, trying to forget about you. But then they get this little bit of, of weakness. Feeling weak or, or, or just needing to know what's going on with you. They check in. Uh, yeah, spy a little bit. Maybe ask around. And then if they feel they, they come down uh, again and feel like, well, now I need to start over. And after that time has passed, I need to, I must know what Pisces is up to. I need to check on uh, in on Pisces. And um, yeah, Pisces. There's somebody that hasn't been able to move on from you, not yet. Yeah, healing from a heartbreak. They're trying, they're trying to heal from a heartbreak, but they are bringing themselves back right to the beginning. The beginning, Pisces. As I said, it's almost like a, like a loop here. <coughs> Yeah, so Pisces, they're still stuck on you, even though that they don't want to, they can't help themselves. Yeah. So that's what I had for you, Pisces. Thank you and uh, bye.